Okay, I don't hardly notice the transition um, when the anti compounding valve shifts off of the park brakes and onto the service brakes uh, when I'm in idle in uh, second gear. So uh, if you try it reverse, and then I've got the uh, hand throttle bumped up just a little bit, um, then you should be able to uh, see it with that higher uh, color gear ratio. Just keep pushing and releasing the pedal. The vehicle will creep a little bit to the rear each time you press and release. That's the service air releasing the front brakes and then, of course, applying the service brakes. And then it's doing the reverse process. As you release the service brakes, it's reapplying the park brakes. So that is a normal indication to me that the anti compounding valve is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it's hard to see, it only moves just a little bit. You can feel it more through the seat of your pants. That little lurch in the camera is me rocking back and forth in the seat every time it does it. Um, but yeah, in second gear, uh, at idle, you, you don't hardly feel it. You can barely feel the transition. So, like I said, I bumped my, uh, my hand throttles up here just a little bit. You see little gap there pull it down to idle. So that gave me my uh, uh, a little bit more uh, impetus to override the park brakes when the uh, when the transition occurs. You can feel a little easier that way. Anyway, hope this helps.